Hey everyone, Breathing Gamer Roll here. Um, we're here with Trans Coming Out Simulator 2018. Uh, this is kind of a uh, kind of parody on the uh, Coming Out Simulator 2014 that I just played. Um, for you guys, it'd be a little while ago. Um, but yeah, this is, I believe it's a fan game? But yeah. Um, let's play the game. Uh, you are way too impatient. Coming Out Simulator 2014 was created by someone else. And this game has different content, yet you are skipping it? Huh. Uh, why are you making that face? You said you're skipping, but to introduce myself, I'm Rawl. Skip, skip. <laughs> this was inspired by Nikki Case's Coming Out Simulator 2014. I don't want to skip it all. Ah, oh, fine. If you don't mind, may I ask your gender? Okie dokie. I am, uh... Famale. Anything else? No, this is enough. Please be curious as to why this game is made. Hm. And who I am. Hm. Oh, before we start, I have to tell you that I did not make this game to make the players miserable. Huh? But I think that some people might find it difficult to play this game. If you feel uneasy playing this game, I recommend that you stop playing for a moment and put it down. Huh. Why are you making me scared all of a sudden? <laughs> yeah. Now let's get back to that day. That day? This game will be filled mostly with the words my friend actually heard during work after graduating from high school. Also, the choices might be truth or might be lies. Even though one might be a lie to my friend, one might be the truth to somebody. It's quite serious and complicated. That's what life is all about. Hmm. Huh. Um... Truths and lies are mixed into this game? As I said in the beginning, yes. It has already been years since this has happened, so naturally she cannot recall all of the conversations word by word. You're just copying the original game, aren't you? <laughs> Shh. This game doesn't have correct answers. Let me just remind you that choices come with responsibilities, so the decisions are important. And please remember that this is only a person's own experience, which does not represent everyone's story. Are you ready? I guess so. Okay, so this seems to be similar to the first game. Excuse me, can I get these? Oh, sure thing. Hmm. It's 3980. Hmm. Hmm? Um, yes? Sir? Oh, sorry. But, um, I can't help but to ask. Hey, isn't it quite rude to ask? Um, are you male or female? Um, it comes down to 3980. You're a man, right? Isn't she a woman? No, I think he's a man. Look at his hands. But the voice sounds feminine. Excuse me? Oh, he he's a man. Uh, see, that's what I said. He is a man. Is that so? I thought he was a woman because his hair was long and his voice was high. Now that I look at him, maybe he is a he. We should have bet on this. Have a nice day. Huh. Man, they were so rude. You- you- you saw? Um, you, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Sorry, I'm- not feeling well. Could you tell the manager that I have to leave early? Yep. And get some rest. Huh. Uh, this happens often, but I never get used to how unpleasant it is. What makes them care so much about other people's gender? I know, right? I have to put up with it for money. I should get some rest and look at my phone. Huh. So, I guess in this situation, I am an MTF. And, you know, I work at a retail, so obviously people are going to be, like, rude. Um, search transgender. Harmful results for teenagers were excluded. Use over, users over 19 of age can see all results through adult authentication. What? That's ridiculous. Transgenders? Aren't they gays? They're totally different. Hey, transgender is a little bit weird. Transgenders don't like you neither. Transgenders to reinforce gender roles. Uh, transgenders are the minorities, and somehow they're so powerful and influential. Why do transgenders express feminine so excessively? It makes me uncomfortable. 
They need to appear normal in the eyes of others to get surgery and sex reassignment. Psychiatrists won't permit a person- If a person doesn't fit the transgender stereotype, it is required of you whether you want it or not. 41% Hmm. Trans- Hmm. <laughs> so would you close your internet browser? Uh, yes. Hmm. Hmm? I got a text. You. I'm gonna call them you. Ah, uh, it's you. Sorry, I left early today. It's okay. Anyways, are you okay? Um... I'm okay. You know... During the shift, the customers... Well, it often happens. But just because it happens frequently, it doesn't mean that it becomes okay. I'm okay, I told you. <laughs> well, okay. Did you get home safely? Yeah, I did, but... But? What's wrong? Um, I had an argue with, with my mom, as usual, about my hair, clothes. Hey, you? Yes? Why don't you tell your mom everything? Oh, so we're not out to... Who? Um... It's easy to say, and to be honest, I've always wanted to tell her, but... What? I just can't. Even so, you can't hide forever. If you have to say it anyway, why don't you talk to her now? Hmm. Do you remember when I came out? Sure. Coming out to a person means that you have some sort of trust for that person. On the other hand, it also means that you're ready to give up on them. Hmm? Coming out doesn't always end up like how it did with you. I've experienced bullying because I came out, and there are countless people who were really close to me that changed their mind and left me after I came out. You. Can you imagine how nervous I was when I came out to you? It ended up quite nicely, but quite frankly, I don't want to come out again. I'm so scared. Honestly. I've never imagined there'd be a queer around me. I'm probably not the only one. People who aren't queer don't even think for a second about the possibility that there's a queer person around them. Do you know how funny I feel when I think about myself before I knew you? It'd be a lie if I say that I wasn't surprised when you came out. Yet. I was so glad when you came out to me. I felt trusted and it gave me an opportunity to think more queers, of course, being a parent and being a friend are two different things, and I'm not trying to deny what you've suffered. It might seem presumptuous, but there are some people who think like I did before. So I hope that you won't be too scared. <laughs> Thank you. Hearing you say that, it feels relieving somehow. That's what friends are for. Come to think of it, since you live with your mom, maybe she might know already. What? <laughs> maybe she's getting wind of it and saying more things like that. You told me earlier that they usually don't know. It's just a possibility. Just like you said, you often s you're often you often seen as a woman outside. Hmm? Well, either way, I think you'd be you're better off telling her yourself. And don't be too nervous. If you really get kicked out, I'll let you sleep at my place. I'd rather sleep outside. What? Nothing. Uh, anyway, since she is your mom and not a stranger, you'll have to face this eventually. As you said, I'll give it a shot. Thanks. You're welcome. Talk to you later. Okay, so we have to come out to... Um, anything special today? Um, no, nothing. Anyway, how long will you, you be looking like that? What do I look like? Hmm? Whatever you do, it's up to you, but... Do you know how other people see you? Last time a neighbor asked me who the lady was, she probably saw you. I was really... What's wrong with that? How dare you talking like that to your mom? What about it? You're the one who's being rude. What? What on earth do you want... Want to... Uh... Do you want to be a woman? I 
I am a woman. You're a boy. You're my son. Think about how old you are. You should be past that confusing phase in adolescence. I'm not a man. Nor a son. Age doesn't matter. I am a transgender. What? Transgender? Are you out of your mind? Take a look at this. What's that? It's a medical form. I'm on a hormone therapy. I'm sorry that I started it without telling you, but I already lost most of my sexual function. What? Go to your room. Just save it. Save it? Go. Your, your refusal won't bring back my sexual functions. What? No. Even if I quit now, I can't go back to who I was before. You... Unfortunately for you, I can't have children. I started this knowing everything. If you don't quit, I'll make you quit. What? You don't have a right to control me. I'm not your property. You're my son, I can't let you ruin your body. I'm not a son. This- uh... Why do you want to change your gender? Can't you just live as you are? You're my son, be realistic. I'm not changing my gender. Mom, I have never been your son. When you call me a son, it feels like my heart is being sabotaged. Can you even imagine? I hated everything about it. Every time I heard words like that, I couldn't help but hate myself. You. Don't you think about me? What kind of parent understand if they hear some something like this all of a sudden? <sighs> Apparently it's all about the parents. And your child's coming out to you. Why can't you just be proud of them? Huh. Um, and what about me? My feelings? Yes, it must be a shock for you. Sorry for being your child. Hm. Um, then have you thought about me, Mom? Have you ever thought about my feelings? Why did you give birth to me? If I knew I were to live like this, I wouldn't have wanted to be born. You, uh... Do you know how many times I thought about choosing to die instead of living like this? Do you have any idea how I feel every day and during life? If you can't understand it, then never mind. What? Never mind it. I don't need anyone and anything anymore. I'll leave this house, that's what you want, isn't it? What are you talking about? You don't have anywhere to go. You really know nothing about me, Mom. Good night. Oh boy. Uh, how'd coming out go? Just like you said, she didn't know about it as, at all as I expected. I'm sorry to hear that. What'd she say? Did everything go well? I think I have to leave the house. What? Oh my, are you okay? Nope, I don't think I'm okay. I feel like I've pushed you to do this. It's not your fault. Huh, maybe it's my fault to be born this way. No! Don't think like that. I want you to be happy. I don't know if I made a good decision. Will things be okay? Hmm. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I think I'm a little relieved. I'm going to go to sleep. Good night. And I became 25 years old. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, I've saved up enough in for the surgery as well. Wow. Maybe this- maybe the surgery is over by the time this game is released. Congratulations! Jeez. Thanks a lot. Are you okay? She is your family, though. It wasn't an unexpected result, you know. It might sound ridiculous, but... If I could go back and relive all the- all those moments... You'd not change your decision? I will not change. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Talking back to my mom... And leaving the house for talking to her like that. It doesn't seem like anything. I wouldn't be here. Without people like my friend who cares for me and supports me. From now on, it'll be more difficult to live my life. But I will survive. 
survive at all costs. I want to say that we're not wrong. We are not wrong. We're just people who want to be less miserable. My story ends here. Is there any questions? Do you ever regret it? I wonder what you're asking exactly. Didn't you make that word? Uh, what? Identifying myself as transgender, starting hormonal th therapy and gang surgeries, coming out to my mom. Briefly speaking, I don't regret neither of them. As I said before, uh, you'll not change your decision. I will not change. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still faced with difficulties, but at least I can say confidently that it's better than before. Of course, it's not that I'm not terribly happy, happy right now. Uh, it was just too hard before all this. Anyway, thanks for running along with me all the way here. I wish you all the best. Um, okay. Dee Dee, let me replace your IV. Whoa, okay. So, damn. I'm not sure if that was a good ending either. But I guess, like, there is no good ending, right? With these kind of people. Huh. So... Again, this, this is something, like, I don't personally understand I'm not transgender, but, like, this kind of really puts it in perspective. Mm. And, like, especially when you have, like, transphobic parents like that, it's hard to come out, because you don't know what's gonna happen. Huh. This was good, though. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna play more games like this, but like, th this is... This has really been a journey for me. <laughs> um, I, I'm, lear I'm learning a lot of stuff, and I hope to learn more along the way. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and <laughs> have a happy Pride Month, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.